Narcissists always want to have the last word. So you have a conversation. You have an argument. You have a discussion going on. And it finishes. Typically what's going to happen is they're going to still say one more thing. They're still going to say one last statement. Now sometimes that statement could be going back to the actual conversation. Or sometimes it can be manipulative to be able to get a reaction out of you to be able to get a rise out of you. Whatever it might be, a lot of times that last statement is meant to cause a reaction, is meant to control you, is meant to make you react so that they can manipulate and control how you are, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, how you're interacting, etc. You see, a narcissist wants to be right every single time. And as a result, they've built a false sense, a false reality that they're perfect. I thought I was perfect for many years. I was never wrong. I couldn't even say the words wrong because that would seem like death. Like that would seem like the worst thing ever. Like I could never physically actually say the words I was wrong. And I would go through life building up brick by brick this fake facade of what I lived that was just a lie. I'm the best person. I, you come to me because I have all the answers. I can fix all your problems. I can deal with every single thing. I'm a great listener. I can work through this. I can show you what to do. A oh, big one with work is technology loves me. Literally, I can walk up to someone who's having trouble with their computer and it just works. And I'm like, yep, that's who I am. You just got to believe in it because I'm the technology guy. Literally, always wanted to be right. Always wanted to have the last word. Always wanted to focus on anything that pumped up my ego. So in an argument, in a discussion, I could be proven dead wrong. I could be proven wrong. Here's the facts. Here's the statement. Here's the article. Here's the, the, the textbook that says this, this, and this. And I could look at it and I'd be like, yeah, that's what I said. Immediately gaslight and try to switch it around. Or I could be like, well, that's their opinion. That's their perspective. And try to do anything I could to make myself feel better. To make myself feel like I'm the best person. I'm the most right person. I'm the person that has all their ducks in a row. That has everything under control. And that is the number one person in the room. You see, a lot of narcissists want to be the smartest person. And they think that they're the smartest person. They'll call everyone at their work stupid. Or the dumbest people out there. And they'll say, I never got far in that company because they were just a bunch of idiots. Like They'll make up a bunch of stuff. They'll use a lot of word salad to confuse it and be like, no, like you didn't put in the work. Well, I didn't put in the work because they weren't good enough. And like, no, like you didn't actually apply yourself, show up on time and actually meet the criteria. Well, that's because, you know, they're inferior. Like they build this sense of idea that they're number one and that nobody else matches up. That there's no possible way that anybody else in the world could be as smart, could be as fast, could be as talented, could be as beautiful, could be as sexy, like whatever it might be. They start to build that false reality. And that comes in on their conversations as well of always having to have the last word. If you guys are new to here, my name is Ben Taylor. I run Raw Motivations. Um, if you're listening on Apple Music or Spotify, please rate or like because I really do enjoy that. And I take a look at people's comments. So please leave comments so I can learn how to grow and work on my own platform, but just help to be able to impact other people. So I'm on this platform to build awareness, uh, promote uh, growth, healing, and change. So I'm working on bettering myself and also helping other people. How I help other people on this platform is I direct them to my website and they go on, they schedule one-on-one -on -one and we start talking. We start diving deep into the stuff that's going on in their life that they need to work on, that they need to change, that is holding them back. And a lot of times I'm working with people that have narcissism or that struggle with narcissistic traits and helping them to start cutting the lies, getting to a place of growth, healing and change so they become the best person that they can possibly be. And then a lot of times I work with people that suffer from narcissistic abuse, that they've been in those relationships where they've been emotionally and mentally abused, and they need to find closure. They need someone that can come alongside and help them understand, hey, this is what happened. This is why they reacted like this. This is what they were thinking when they said this. They didn't care. They didn't love. They didn't show it. 
And oftentimes these people are stuck in trauma bonds and they're stuck wondering, why do I still want this toxic person? Why do I still want to call them, want to see them, want to interact with them, want to hug them, like whatever it might be? Why do I still want that when I know they're so toxic? It's because they build trauma bonds over a period of time. A lot of my work with narcissistic abuse survivors is to work with them to break those trauma bonds, to cut them free of the lies that narcissists have put around them and trap them, have trapped their minds in that they don't know how to get out because of the fact that they've manipulated their thoughts, their reality, their emotions for such a long period of time. They think that that's all there is and they don't know how to break free. So a lot of times we dive a couple levels deep to try to figure out what's the facts, what's the feelings, what's the story that we need to to work together to put together so that we understand who the narcissist is and how to get healing and growth for those narcissistic abuse survivors. That's why I'm on that platform. So as we were talking with narcissists, they want to have the last word. That could be an argument. That could be a discussion. That could be in just anything. Oftentimes, the narcissist will come to the place where they will add a tiny little bit, a tiny little jab. And oftentimes, it's to get a reaction. Maybe the conversation has actually ended. Maybe you guys are getting ready to simmer down or settle down the actual conversation. And then they sneak something in. I knew it was going to go this way. Well, what's the point in us talking? Like, you're just doing the same thing. You're just going to the opposite extreme. Like, we just can't ever communicate. Like, I don't know why you can't talk nice to me. They'll say a lot of different things. And a lot of times that is just to promote a reaction to promote a response. You see, what looks like chaos from the outside is often controlled chaos on the inside of the narcissist. And as a result, they're controlling another person. They control their will, their emotions, their actions, and a lot of times they do that by provoking a reaction. If I can get you to react to something, I've gotten you to act on something. I've gotten you to act on the fact that I called you stupid. I've gotten you to act on the fact that I said, maybe you shouldn't wear that. It looks a little too tight. I've gotten you to act on the thoughts and the manipulation and the things that I could slide in so that you start doubting yourself and so you start coming under my control of manipulating another person. That's what a narcissist does. That's what I've done. That's what I'm working on daily, trying to break those habits, to break that mind concept to break those those uh, wires and rewire how I've been wired rewire how I think how I go about my day how I interact with people so I can promote growth healing change and awareness about narcissism to be able to help people to avoid the relationships and be able to help people grow from getting out of abusive one if you like what you see here subscribe would love to talk to you further reach out to me on raw motivations would love to talk more thank you guys so much